miracles cancelling debt. 2 Kings chapter 4 verses 1 to 7. A certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets cried out to Elisha saying, Your servant, my husband, is dead, and you know that your servant feared the Lord. And the creditor is coming to take my two sons to be his slaves. So Elisha said to her, What shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in the house? And she said, Your maidservant has nothing in the house but a jar of oil. Then he said, Go borrow vessels from everywhere, from all your neighbors, empty vessels. Do not gather just a few. And when you've come in, you shall shut the door behind you and your sons. Then pour into all those vessels and set aside the full ones. So she went from him and shut the door behind her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured it out. Now it came to pass when the vessels were full, then she said to her son, bring me another vessel. And he said to her, it is not another vessel. So the oil ceased. Then she came and told the man of God and said, and he said, go sell the oil, pay your debt and you and your sons live on the rest. God is a miracle working God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His power does not diminish with time. Uh, his strength does not diminish with time. He is the same all-powerful miracle working God. And his miracles cancel debt in our lives supernaturally, in unexpected ways, in unconceivable ways. His workings cause debt to be canceled. We read here in 2 Kings 4, one of the many miracles in the Bible where this woman her husband, this widowed woman was left with a huge debt and the creditors had come just to take possession of her children and make them bonded slaves for the rest of their lives in order to clear that debt. But here comes a divine intervention of God in her life through his servant Elijah, Elisha. And he says, you know, that whatever you have, that little jar of oil, that jar will be multiplied. Sell the oil, clear your debt and have left over to live for the rest of your life. That's how God works miracles. Are you faced with debt, with financial debt, uh, borrowings uh, that, that have put you in a pit and you find yourself uh, unable to come out of it? Sure, we have to be wise and we have to do the right things and when, we, when we manage money, uh, we agree with that. But we must also look to God for His miraculous intervention to get us out of debt. And that's what we are praying today. I want you to expect that. God will work through unusual ways. In the case of Jesus and Peter in Matthew 17, God provided a coin in the mouth of a fish for Jesus to pay taxes for Himself and Peter. God can provide for, for you in unusual ways. And we are believing God for miracles to cancel debt. Pray with me. Let's see miracles happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release miracles. You release miracles, Father. Release miracles into the lives of people who need to have financial debt canceled. Holy Spirit, work miracles. Bring in unusual ways and means by which finances flow in so that their debt is canceled. I command in Jesus' name, debt to be canceled and do want interventions to come, miracles to happen. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.